Okay, uh, this video will be about making split bearings for connecting rods and uh, crankshafts because sometimes you have to be able to put it together with a split bearing. And the method that you'd use is the whole secret to it. It's not very difficult if you do it in the right order. So what I'm going to do is, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a large piece of brass. I'm going to make it out of brass instead of bronze. And uh, show you the, the proper way to do it in the proper order that you do it in, because that's important. For demonstration purposes, like I said, I'm going to use a piece of brass. You would normally use bronze. This is a 5 8 brass, and I'm going to mill in. I want to make the bearing a half inch wide, so I'm going to mill in here a little over an inch, so I have a saw cut through there. And I'm going to mill exactly halfway down through this. So this is 5 8 thick. So what I'm going to do is mill down here 5 16 which is halfway through it, and just make it flat and a nice clean end there. And the, the front of this is already faced off, so I have a nice smooth surface. This is halfway through now. Yeah, we got a nice smooth surface here, a nice smooth surface there, and this end is smooth. I got to take this little tad off of there with a file, file it up, and then I'll just saw this in half, flip that over, and solder it back in here, and then I'll have a round piece again. So now I've marked it, and I'm going to saw it. So I have a, a piece here that'll flip over and solder onto here, which is exactly half of this. Here's the two pieces fit together. I'm going to take a little bit off of this edge so that that fits in there nice and tight, and then just solder it right back I'm on I'm just going to file a small radius right here so it fits up nice and tight. That's all it'll take. Fits nice and tight on there, and I'm going to solder that on there. Put a little flux on here. Stick the two pieces together. Make sure I get the, the two flat surfaces together. I'm going to heat that up and solder it. This is a, a nice little pencil torch. That I, I got this off of Amazon, and I really like it, except for... That should do it. So I didn't put a clamp on this at first, and I'm not sure how tight that is. So now what I'm going to do is just reheat it and let the solder melt so it'll come back down and it'll get a nice close fit. Because what you want is that together. Because if it's not together and you machine it and you put it in the, the thing, it'll squeeze and it'll be tight. Okay, that's good. Now, as you can see, it's a it's a nice soldering job, and it's tight this way. That's the really important thing. If it was a little off this way, it wouldn't matter because you're going to turn this down. This should be a little oversized from what you're going to have for a final finish, and it it has to be soldered here to give it strength. But uh, if you get a a good faced piece and you get nice clean cut there and push it together, it should be fine. So the first thing I'm going to do is face this off and just take a, a light cut on the outside to clean it up. Good. So now I'm going to mark the center with a spotting drill. So I've just taken a cleanup cut there. Now I'm going to measure it. One half inch here. It's now 600, so I got to take a, a hundred off. So now I have the outside dimension. Okay. Uh, now I've turned this down, which is actually a mistake. I should have left that hole. I just went, meant to take a little off of it, and I took too much off it. But the thing you want to remember is to do the hole first. 
Uh, I cleaned up the outside a little too much here, but uh, because this uh, seam in here is just soft sodded, so it's a little weak. If you get a drill in there that's taking too much of a bite, it'll pop that apart, and then you got to start over again. So I'm going to drill a one eighth inch hole and open it up to five sixteenths. I'm going to go in there about uh, three quarters, uh, a little over half an inch. Okay. Now that's a regular drill. Now I'm going to switch to brass drills, which are over here. I'm going to go up slowly on that hole so that I don't split it apart. Go into 1164s here. So I'm going to work that up, up slowly, probably about a 30 second at a time. And I'm using brass drills so that I don't, they don't grab and suck themselves in. And now I got to that part, what I'm going to do is bore it until I get almost the dimension and then ream the hole. I've set my stop for the boring bar so I won't go too deep with it. So I'm taking light cuts of about five thousandths a piece, so I won't break that apart. It's pretty solid, but uh, I got plenty of time, and I just take take my time and just do light cuts. So I've got another ten, twenty, about thirty-five thousandths to go, so I can safely take another five thousandths cut. We can safely take another five. Now I'm going to switch over to the cross slide and get a little more accuracy. So I've got probably 10 thousandths to go there. I'm gonna take another four using the cross slide. I imagine you all know that when you set this at 45 degrees, whatever you set this at, it'll take off. Like if I set it for a thousandth, it'll take off a thousandth. Or working the other way, it'll, it'll remove a thousandth that way too. So you set this at 45 degrees and it makes it more accurate. Now I should be able to ream that to size. I gotta remove approximately five thousandths with the reamer. You can see a little wobble here. That's because I took this out and I did some other work before I was, did that, but you can see the hole is true. We're going to true the outside up again. So there's the 5 16 reamed hole. So now I'll do the outside of the bearing. So 
I'm going to put in the cutoff tool. <clears throat> Using a 1 16th inch cutoff tool, I'm going to bring it in here and just touch it. I'm going to set my dial indicator here. Okay, so there's a 50 thousandths lip. So now I've got to measure the outside and see how deep I've got to go in to end up with 3 eighths. That's exactly almost, it's two under a half an inch. So I've got to go in a sixteenth, which is 62 thousandths. And I'm going to go in 60, uh, 55 thousandths and see how it measures. So that's in 55 thousandths, which is taken off 110 because it's all the way around. Now I'm going to back this out and I'm going to make the width of the inside cut. So what I have to do is measure from here to the other side of here, which is 60 thousandths, 62 thousandths exactly. I got to do a little math here. So, uh, the cutter is uh, 62 thousandths wide, and I want that to be 60, uh, 312, which is 5 sixteenths. So I got to move that over 5 sixteenths minus the thickness of the tool, which is 62. I got to move it over 250. <clears throat> One, two, 50. So that should be. 5 sixteenths. Let me check it. It looks like it. So we want this to be 3 eighths, which is 375. So we've got to go in another 10, which sounds just about right which is, is five on this dial. So I'm gonna just take off five thousandths. It's now three thousandths over. So I'm gonna do another, another thousandth. Well, there it is. It's probably a quarter of a thousandth over, but I'm just going to leave it there because that's uh, going to be close enough. Now I'm just going to part that off there and we got it. Over 62. Now, if you wanted to round those, now is the time to file them and just, just take the corners off of them. There it is. Now we'll just take the torch to it and take it apart. So now I'm just going to uh, melt this apart and we'll have our split bearing. You can't even see the seams in it, but they're there. Let that cool a minute. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of solder on here. I'm just going to take them to the sandpaper and clean, clean that off. I'm not going to get real aggressive for that because when you fit these, let them be a little tight and then uh, finish them later. Gonna take a few strokes here. 
till I see the brass start to come through and then stop. I'm leaving just a tiny bit of solder on them. And those will fit together perfectly. So that's how you make a set of split bearings. Uh, like I said, I made these out of brass. You should use bronze. And it's a very simple process. And they come out pretty nice. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. That's what we live on. Thank you very much. Bye.